with Brooks Vacations in Waukesha, Wisconsin. We're a full service travel agency, really specializing in worldwide honeymoons, family vacations, adventure trekking, and wellness trips primarily. I've been in the travel industry about 22 years and certainly have seen a lot in those years. You know, one of the things I think that stands out the most, you know, for me in those 22 years, you know, really two things. One is the the increase in experiential travel. People want to get out and really see a destination firsthand and, and meet people and learn the culture and be involved. And I think that's really great. The second thing that I've seen is an urgency for people to get to destinations that they feel won't be there forever. You know, for example, I had clients just return from Australia and a visit to the Great Barrier Reef and they wanted to go, you know, this year because they think that the Great Barrier Reef, you know, will never be the same. The rising oceans, the temperatures of the ocean, the bleaching of the coral, you know, all those things, you know. So we, on one hand, we have people hurrying to get to destinations, you know, like the Great Barrier Reef. You know, the Maldives and the Indian Ocean, you know, people are going, you know, I think the last I had heard is there's something like six feet above sea level and, and just a short rise in, in the seawater, you know, wipe this whole island country basically off the map. So people are, you know, rushing to get there to see the Maldives before potentially, I guess, they could be underwater. You know, and the same goes for, you know, the Arctic. The Arctic has opened up quite a bit recently with the ice melt and, and there's certainly cruise ships now, Crystal Cruises, Bonant. You know, are traveling through the Arctic and they have never bef been there before. And on the one hand, it opens up, you know, a really neat destination for travelers to experience. On the other hand, it does create a burden, certainly on the infrastructure, not ready for the, the mass tourism. We call it kind of the hug of death, you know, where, you know, good word gets out and then people overwhelm it and causes its own issues. But uh, certainly the Arctic, you know, and the ice melting is increasing opportunities for people to go there. You know, Glacier National Park, you know, the, the receding, you know, glaciers, you know, diminish you know, drastically. So people want to get there again before the glaciers are gone. So we do have these, you know, destinations around the world that people are asking to go to before they change. And I guess at the end of the day, you know, my only hope is that, you know, through travel, that people get out to see these destinations and they come home then and, and realize that they won't be there forever and maybe make some positive changes at home. You know, I know carbon offset, you know, back in my earlier years of travel, you know, it was, it was a big point, you know, in, in the air travel piece of it. But there's certainly things, other things we can do at home, you know, to make the environment, you know, a little bit better for everybody. And so that some of these awesome natural wonders are available for our future generations to see just as we have the opportunity.